Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on today's video, we'll be upgrading the electrical system on my GMT 400. And for that, we will be upgrading from a 105 amp to a 250 amp alternator. And we'll be doing the big three upgrade. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to be switching over to electrical fans pretty soon and upgrading the cooling system. And all, albeit the stock electrical system on these trucks will be fine stock, but once we start adding lights and, and electric fans, it just won't cut it. All right, so here will be the components for what we're gonna do for the electrical upgrade. This is gonna be a, you know, a stud extender so we could add more accessories to it. And you will be needing this, especially when we upgrade to the electrical fans later. And here's the part number right here. Got that from AutoZone. And then um, here is the big cable. It's pretty much we're upgrading the thickness of the cable that goes off the back of the alternator to the battery so it could help with the charging. And this in and of itself can help if you're having uh, slight issues. But um, I would recommend going up with a bigger alternator. And then here are the ground cables. I got uh, two different sizes. Here's the smaller of the three and here are the bigger ones I don't have a tape measure but I would say that's about average and uh, here are the part numbers for those I got those from O'Reilly's all the cabling and wires and then for the alternator the best place I could get the most affordable one I could find online was on eBay and I'll be posting the seller on the screen for a 250 amp alternator and with the stock looking casing So here I've removed the alternator and this is the plug harness right here, the alternator exciter. And then here is the wire that goes to the battery right over there. It's a single wire and what we're going to be doing is upgrading it to a thicker gauge wire. And uh, so we're simply just going to cut it right here, cap it off. And then here's where that longer stud comes in place and we'll hook up our thicker gauge wire. And here we will be cutting the wire right here. We're going to be capping it off. alternator wire would go to we're just gonna cap this off in case we want to use it for anything else in the future and like I said I am NOT a professional at this this is just uh, for entertainment purposes only and um, but this system should do the trick for the electrical fans we will be putting from a 1994 Chevy Caprice police interceptor Here's the size difference of the original wire. Here's the original wire. It 
came original on the truck. And this is the one we're going to be putting right there. All right, and these terminals, they just go snug. Don't go too tight on them because you'll strip the threads on the battery. And here we will be applying some heat shrink so we could just cover up more of this metal. Like I said, this is a direct cable to the battery, so it will be hot if anything see if anything hits it. So to minimize it, we'll be doing this on both ends, putting a bit of half inch heat shrink, just like that. And it's better to use uh, an electric heat gun, but uh, I'm just being lazy here. and doing it with the torch that works as well. You do it with the lighter torch electric heat gun and just get that half inch shrink heat shrink to shrink up on that end and if you are using an open flame just keep it moving don't keep it in one spot and uh, you won't burn it and that should give us some extra protection we'll be doing that on both sides and we'll be transferring the old boot from the other wire and now it's just a matter of routing it and we're going to be routing it through the factory location just make sure it's not rubbing on anything and zip tie it where you need to just to keep it from rubbing through and make sure you got the smaller end towards the alternator. Okay, for those of you not familiar with the Big 3 upgrade, it's really common with people who do custom sound systems in their car and now there's a higher amperage draw on the system and the system can't really keep up. And in a lot of modern cars, EFI, you know, more modern computers, they already have a higher output alternator. But with my earlier model pickup truck, it's only a 105 amp alternator, which is why I'm upgrading to a 250 amp alternator. But I'm doing the big three upgrade anyways, just to give it the best chance it has. And um, pretty much what the big three upgrade is, you upgrade the charging cable to a higher gauge just so it could charge the battery easier and then you upgrade the grounds to the whole system. You add an extra ground to the battery, an extra ground from the engine to the chassis, and an extra ground from the alternator to the engine. And theoretically that's a heavier duty grounding system and it should be able to help out when you're adding extra an extra amperage load to an electrical system on your car. All right, guys, and this alternator I got from eBay is a direct Bolton. have a smaller pulley from stock and I'm sure it's got different internals to reach that 250 amp rating here it might be tough to tell but there's the aftermarket 4 gauge wire running to the battery and then I ran the ground from uh, this bolt right here which is the alternator support bracket to the normal to the original ground that the factory uses for the wiring harness. And on this particular case, I don't think it was really needed just because the support bracket connects to the engine block and I'm sure it's grounded well enough. But the idea is that, you know, all, all alternators are grounded. It's just grounding it better, which helps it perform better. And then 
the battery ground is right over here on the battery side. And there was a ground right there already, but since the cable was longer, and it also helps to spread out the grounds anyways. And it goes to a bolt right down there at the bottom of the battery tray. It was super easy to get to, just had to remove the battery. And then the last one, the engine ground. If you guys could see that, it connects to the, the fuel pump block off plate, which uh, the earlier small block Chevys had a fuel pump there, but for these modern fuel injected engines, you don't. Even some, even modern carburetor engines nowadays um, use an electric fuel pump. But right there, I just got a good bolt on the engine, and then it is connected right there on the chassis. And as you can see, it might be really tough to tell. Yeah, you you won't even you can barely see it down there. That's the original ground probably as thick as one of these spark plug wires so as you can see these are up this is a much beefier and somewhat overkill grounding system now but this will help us uh, for when we add the electrical fans and other accessories so you know if ever if ever one day I want to add a winch or aftermarket headlights and another thing is I do recommend getting two of those photos to work really well with this original bolt right here, it's it barely had any thread engagement and it is tight, but I will be replacing it with that other uh, aftermarket battery post just to make a more reliable connection. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering how I knew this system wasn't gonna be up to snuff for the new electrical fans I was putting from the 94 Caprice. And the way I did it was I had some jumpers some jumper uh, test cables and set up both fans running with the engine at idle with the radio and AC on to test if the electrical system could keep up and I did that off camera and how I know it was enough to snuff is after 30 minutes the voltage was starting to drop and you might say well you were idling for 30 minutes but still, I want I don't want the system to be running at a hundred percent, you know Yeah, it might have been fine. You know once I drive it and I'm cruising at 2,000 rpms that stock alternator might have kept up But how long would it have lasted? But I'm not just building a street rod. This is my daily driver I'm gonna be towing with it from state to state on occasion I want something just as reliable or even more so as you guys can tell from my other videos even more so from the factory so I'm not just throwing upgrades at it to make more power I'm making it more reliable at the same time Super sketchy, but I'm doing this just to test it, see if the alternator can handle the load. And if anybody's wondering where I got these extra long uh, test cables, I uh, I took apart an extension cord meant for you know home use, uh, stripped it down, got these four wires out of it, and uh, I used a little alligator clip that I bought from Harbor Freight. All right guys, as you can see, it was a pretty simple install, just like any other stock alternator. Bolted right in, no issues. Um, even with the smaller pulley, it works just fine with the same size belt. Um, the only thing we really did different from a, just a stock replacement, pretty much, um, is the, you know, the big three upgrade, which is very simple. Uh, I showed you guys the part numbers and uh, how to install them. And uh, I did the test, uh, you guys saw the test I did be, uh, after, but the test I did before with the old alternator was the same one with high beams on, uh, AC on with the blower on high, radio to the max, and the fans running the whole time, which is not how they're gonna be running once they're fully installed. They're gonna be turning on and off uh, with uh, the temperature range. So that's a much harder test. That's a, that's a very hard test to go through but before my truck would start dropping voltage. 
Um, it was pretty much dropping it down a battery voltage, which was like 12.7 after 30 minutes of idle. Um, and now after the upgrade, it stays at a steady 14. So uh, with this electrical system, we got uh, room to grow in uh, with future upgrades as far as lights, you know, uh, more modern EFI. If we want to go uh, the Holly route with multi-port fuel injection and like I said, the electrical fans. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned, uh, like and subscribe. And like always, thank you for joining me guys and hope you guys have a nice day.